What's going on Revolution family, it's Raphael aka Versatile Listen, I want to thank you for watching this video I want to thank you for actually subscribing to this this channel here yeah? um, Listen, I want to thank you for your patience Because I know it's been quite a while since I actually posted Alright, so listen, thank you And if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button Hit that bell notification so you do not miss out on any of the video content that we will be uploading on a regular basis. See, I don't know why my eye is looking that way, yeah? Where am I looking now? I don't even know anymore. This, this, this thing is drama. When I do it that way, my eyes are straight. When I do it that way, I don't know. Psst. Anyway, listen, the whole point is this. Listen, uh, what was I was going to say. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you do not miss out on any of the video content that we will be uploading on a regular basis to do with everything to do with all things to do with an African and Caribbean diaspora. All right. So what else? If you've got any questions or any subjects you would like for us to discuss, then please leave that in the comment section below. Now, listen. Today's video. Yeah. Oh, you know what? What else was I going to say? Some, I was going to say some girls. I was going to say some girls. Um, yeah, I was going to say if you've got any questions, the other alternative you can do is leave that in the comments. Leave, you can private message us through our social media pages and you can find that in the description box. You see, it's been quite a while that I am not dragging this along for more than a minute. Wow. Anyway, listen, uh, today's video, today's video is about, what is this about? It's about why black people should become entrepreneurs. Now, the truth is, not everyone is born to be an entrepreneur. That's the truth. Yeah, we all have our own pre-designed mission on earth, our own personalized mission on earth. Some of us are not built to be an entrepreneur. Some of us are born, probably just born to run one business or manage a business or stuff like that. But being an entrepreneur is a different ball game. Yeah, it is a complete different ball game. I'll tell you that from now. Yeah, but one of the benefits are of um, one of the benefits of being an entrepreneur is ownership. So this is why I would strongly recommend to at least at least someone in your family if it's got to be you to start ownership and build an empire for your family and it's got to be you then it's got to be you if it's someone else in your family then let it be them if it's a combination of people then it's a combination of people in your family all right but i will i will repeat not everyone is built to be an entrepreneur some are built to be managers some are actually built to be employees unfortunately and if I want to say unfortunately, because employees do help run the business, because without them, let's be honest, how is the business running? Do you understand? But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's why, like, like I said, the main thing is ownership. That's that's why black people should be uh, um, entrepreneur. Because then, when you've got kids and they need a job, you can employ them. You don't have to, if you're working for somewhere else, someone else, a different corporation, like, I'm not going to name any names because that's me promoting them. Um, but if you were to, let's say where you are working now, if you are working, can you actually employ them? If your son, your, your niece, your nephew needed a job, right? Because this is the thing. Black parents, African parents, uncles aunties all these people will want you to get a job right or you want them to get a job no yeah they would want you to get a job let's say you're 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 not employed right they want you to get a job they want you to make sure that your money's good and all that stuff there but where they're working can they employ you that's the thing can they it's all good saying they need a job but can they? But as an entrepreneur, you're creating jobs. You understand how it works? So this is not to shade your uncle, your aunties, your parents. This is not to shade anyone. This is just that 
let you understand how things work because if they can't employ you then we have a problem if it's your own business or your family's business and they can employ you then cool if they refuse to employ you then you need to understand why they're refusing to employ you now i'm not going to drag this video any longer but one thing i will tell you is this if you want to find out more about how to manage a business or how to start a business and how to manage a business and how to support other black owned businesses then i strongly recommend that you become a member of the Akabuland trust which you can find the link to that in the description box where it says get involved yeah go to that link right there and drain um yeah drain yeah become a member be part of the elite revolution family it's a win-win all right so as always peace love and blessings